Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Tele Isla's news with the most important news of the day. The vaccination points provided by the Departmental Health Center for the application of the first dose of AstraZeneca and second dose of Sinovac continue to be welcome. These points continue to be well received according to the information provided. The most frequent visitors are senior adults. Silvet Mitchell is at the San Luis Coliseum. Go ahead, Silvet. Hello, Lisa, televiewers, everybody they watching this last news right now. I had a record right here from the San Luis section, Ginebia section by the San Luis Coliseum, where the ESA Departamental, the hospital, enabled this place for people who want to be part of the national vaccination process. People who want to take the second dose of the Sinovac vaccine and also the first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine, and they take it right here by the Coliseum. Uh, we want also to inform to the community that in a few days then going in farm to the entire department the unification of the stages that means that people from 18 years go ahead can come by the sites not only by the coliseo the, the san luis coliseo but also by the tamarind um, cultural center on the hill then going to make the vaccine according to information then give us from the secretariat of health in a san andres then going to apply 38,552 vaccine and in our world providence 5,700 127 vaccine that give a total of 40, 44 those 279 vaccine apply in our department so the invitation of the people to come here to the coliseum and also to the um, the cultural center and the rest of them with the ASA departmental also give to the to the people and if you come and take your vaccine as we can see right here as this site that then they manage it in a very organized way the people and come then then give the, the information the personal information and then pass and take the vaccine afterward they rest 15 minutes and they know they can go we remind once more people whether they take the second dose of the Sinova vaccine and the first dose as they have of the AstraZeneca vaccine. This is all information. Lisa, Silver Mitchell Archibald for Tele Islas News. And we continue with the tour of the vaccination points. We move to the departmental hospital with Gisela Livingston, who visit others of these sites. Continuing our tour of the vaccination points, we conducted a survey in the Manawar Park and in the tents of the hospital. This is what the community thinks. The only problem I see is kind of slow, but everything else they not add up. Then give your number, then go to pass the other side, and then pass you to this side. But I don't see no, else, no problem, it's only that. I see kind of slow because they say the, the, the first vaccine we take, they say only if you bring the cedula and, and, and the paper that they give us, the, the carnet. I know we come and fully out a lot of paper again asking a lot of questions. So it kind of slow through that, but at a while, at a part, I see everything good. I feel blessed because it was the second vaccine I got and the attention was great. There was no delay. Everything was fine. Tele Islas News will continue to follow up the vaccination points and the information provided by the Health Secretariat in this regard. And this June 30th, the community will be marching on the call of attention to the authorities on behalf of all those who were affected by hurricanes in San Andres and who to date have not received any help. Just as in Old Providence Island, this June 30th, in San Andreas, people will march in solidarity for those victims of the hurricanes. Pastor Augusto Francis explained what it is all about. We just want to invite the community, our Rizal people, to uh, this marching that we're going to have the 30th of June. Um, 3 o'clock, right there, the point of encounter is at the Mount Zion Baptist Church, walk down until the Coral Palace, to manifest ourselves and reclaim social justice, uh, solidarity and dignity for our people that get affected with the two hurricanes. Up to now, uh, neither the national government nor local government nor the, nor the Sistema Nacional de Gestión de Riesgo y Desastres uh, has been proactive and are diligent to solve the situation of many families that get affected if your house is affected and you don't get no help until now, come out with us, 
and manifest yourself. The march will start at 3 p.m. at the starting point in Mount Zion Baptist Church and will end at the Coral Palace Square. And in other news, this afternoon there will be an important conservation that will seek to bring young people closer to the history of the islands. Alice Medina from the Cultural House on the Hill gave us more details. Good evening, Lisa and Aldi TV viewers. I say hello from here from the Cultural Center in the Hill Sector because we talked to the Secretary of Culture who talked to us about a workshop that is going to be held this evening in which youth people will get a little close up about the history of the department. This is what the Secretary of Culture told us. Well, this workshop is really, really important because we want to fertilize our identity just as how it is written in our development plan, you know, to fertilize our identity, the identity of our archipelago. So. The Secretary also told us about the help that they are going to be making in the 12th day of July in a national concert, a virtual concert that is going to be held nationally. This is what he told us. The concert that we're going to have will basically is to fertilize our identity. So what we're supposed to do is to make sure we'll be able to canalize that national and can know who we are as a people because the intention is to record and hold pile artists nationally so um, here well, we also make sure that uh, make them get to know who we is as people you know so well they will be here in fact several artists will be here from different parts of the of the of the country recording here so that put us in one advantage position that we can sell more who we are the invitation then is to assist to this workshop that will be to held right here from 3 to 5 p.m for all the youth team of our department this is all the information from here from the hill continue lisa in studio and next monday june 28 the national university caribbean headquarters will hold its accountability for the year 2020. In order to provide confidence to citizens of the Insular Department, making know the projects carried out during 2020 and the work plan for 2021, the National University Caribbean Campus will hold its accountability process virtually, where the community can participate by sending their questions through the website of the entity. We are going to present on Monday 28 our social balance, what we have planned for this year and what we have achieved. We are also going to talk about the challenges that we will be assuming and what is still pending to be done. Done. That is part of what we are going to talk about. You can post the questions on the university's webpage or send them to our emails and we will be glad to answer some of them on the day of the presentation. And those that are not, we will send you the answer or we will post them on the webpage. On Monday 28 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you are all invited to connect with us. It will be done virtually. This pandemic still forces us to use these channels and you are cordially Invited. The accountability of the entity will be transmitted through the Facebook account of the National University simultaneously with its YouTube channel. And at this time of the day, we continue with all the sport news of our department. <laughs> the best sports of the islands. Parental accompanying to the children in sports play an important role for the healthy growth of these future athletes. Whether children take the right path in life depends on how attentive and supportive their parents are with these youngsters in their sporting activities. A father who accompanies his son in sports is Fabio Archibald. I always accompany him every morning, every Saturday morning to come and play sport and um, to give him more confidence when he is playing and support him so that he someday will come to be a great football player. Another one that accompanies his children is Dilbert Kelly. He makes sport. He try to keep him off a bad influence. And I invite all of our um, parents to you know, take out and open it. Come make sport and try to keep their mind occupied for, for they not take the wrong way. The accompaniment of the children in sport is fundamental for the growth and formation of good athletes. This is what these parents said. Skating continues with its growth process thanks to the accompaniment of parents to the children. Looking to keep the children busy in their free time, with joint work between the teacher Liliana Consuegra and parents, the training process in skating continues. Nosotros seguimos con el aprovechamiento del tiempo libre, recreación y deporte. We continue with the use of free time in recreation and sports, doing physical activity, taking advantage of the boys' free time during this pandemic, 
to clear their minds and keep them busy doing physical activity. We have a very good and excellent integration. We have the support of their parents, which is fundamental at this stage of formation. A parent that support their children is Andres Bryan. This is what he said. I think it is very important that we as parents accompany our children in their sporting career. This is very important. The call is to our parents who have their children in any sport to always support them, give them encouragement so that they can continue in the sport and grow. And Sandra Perez is a mom that always accompany her daughter. Accompanying my daughter in the process of training in skating with teacher Lilo, giving her the support and accompaniment that young people need. Having the children occupied with physical activity and the accompaniment of the parents is very important in the formation role for the children as sporters.